Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a very good one for you today. I am feeling these charts once again. It is so good to be back. I'm feeling it. It is giving me happiness. This chart is just... Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm going to be sharing with you today my technical analysis, the levels that I have been trading off of, and how this last trade has just been absolute trading perfection, if I say so myself. So with that said, let me back up those claims and let's go into the charts. Uh, I could say I got my mojo back and it does feel good. It really does feel good. Um, yeah, September, let's turn this around. Let's go. So as you all know, originally starting off that value area high rejection from the value area high we spent a lot of time around that point of control before the big loss of the point of control change in market structure you come back up for that then lower high you lose the point of control you back test it and you fall quickly down to the value area low during this period of time obviously i wasn't trading so much uh this is where i started trading again really coming back on the wednesday as you can see the second touch of the value area low there and this is where it come this is where this is where it felt blissful. It really, really did. As I began to get that connection back with the market, recognizing the signs here, at 11,220, the long position was entered. The signal call was given simultaneously with my thought process behind the value area low not being taken again. So I was under the impression we were not going to be taking those lows. That was the invalidation of this trade setup. And we were gain, we, we were in it at this moment in time. We were going for 11,531 take profit one, 11,650 take profit two, and 11,900 region of take profit Three, what have we hit this morning, ladies and gentlemen? We have hit 11,950-ish. And that, yes, is a 650,000 long position. The profits are raking in right now. It's a lovely, 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 lovely day. But it does not mean we are quite yet entering into shorts. What I have done is I've closed 80% of that long position out. That's 80% of the trade closed. And it's me now being ready and waiting to switch into a short but that is not quite yet i've got 20 percent of the long position still going and i do believe if we break through the value area high we're going to be looking towards 12,000 12,250 ish you know that would be for me the next levels um that i would be interested in obviously that naked point of control up there that we still are aware of but um i am playing it a bit cautiously now okay during this whole rise from 11,200 to not 11,900 almost 12,000 i have not entered a single short position i've stuck with the plan because my plan as i have been saying it many times this is a next level signal call this is a next level trade the thought process behind it is it just is amazing and i am going to share this publicly with you all as it, as it once it's finished there's still two more parts of this trade left and then I will share it publicly uh, because I owe it to the champions that stuck with me, that kept the faith. And now they are reaping the rewards heavily. What a trade it really was. I will share that one with you publicly. Not quite yet. But yeah, I am basically interested in a short position right now. Uh, as we can see right now, uh, open, open interest building up quite well. No CVD divergences quite yet. But we are starting to see some bigger traders enter into their short positions. Interesting stuff, no? Uh, so that for me, yeah, is um yeah <laughs> this is the thing you either want to wait for a little bit of a market structure change or you want to wait for the initial sign of rejections and this is where you can get in early as a scalp trader i actually started i'm, I'm going to start scalp trading again today so uh what a time to be back this is like a present from the market it really is um but yeah those were the levels i was waiting for really 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 simply i was waiting for that weekly 11,925 we hit it let me just show you that weekly a second uh high time frame there you go there is that weekly touch uh obviously originally we were looking you know the first take profit being uh 11,531 the reason for that was because it was the point of control <laughs> excuse me <laughs> it was that weekly level okay ladies and gentlemen we were we, we were rejected off that weekly and as you could see it really was a strong level okay and really you broke through that consolidation you then got that big back test of it got that big back test of it last night and that's where i managed to compound uh easy 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 you got that now strong move up to the weekly and uh, this is what i love this is really what i love that this this wick down yesterday would have stopped out many new traders that are having their tight stop losses or over leveraged everyone on times 100 absolutely wrecked they're out of the game if you are if you are trading stop losses sensibly if you are adjusting your risk while sleeping you know that's the major factor that you want to be doing right now um then you know you're still in the game you're still hitting these weekly 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful 11,926. And now you've got to be monitoring these charts. You've got to be making those informed decisions of, okay, are we turning around right now? Or is there still juice left in the tank to go higher? At the moment, one would say there's still juice left in the tank to go a little bit higher right now. Uh, hence why I'm, I'm not switching quite yet, but I am very much ready to. Um, this is... Um, yeah, this is this is sculpt traders territory but nevertheless um yeah you can see right now you're on on that daily point of control that's interesting you know you're building the daily point of control up at those highs something to be aware of look at that as we come up there just um yeah open interest holding well though <laughs> you're seeing a lot of new positions open right now but that, that's good uh i'm gonna get back to sculpt trade this in a second i am itching to take a sculpt short i'm not gonna lie um <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to make this this video right here to talk you through those levels that you're at to talk you through how that trade went and yes i absolutely am bragging about that trade right now because i had so many doubters of me over the last few weeks okay yes the doubters were <clears throat> the doubters were out in in their packs they were literally hunting me they were absolutely hunting me biting me trying to bring me down i knew i would come out of it the best and as as always the results speak for themselves absolutely i came out of that couldn't have done a better trade literally um so that was good and i've now taught you through in this video the really key level i like i mean if you have one level on your charts eleven thousand nine hundred twenty-five. this is a key level uh monitor monitor as i was showing you right here this is this is my sculpting trades but you've got to be monitoring here the open interest the cvd divergences the volume as you're coming down i mean i like to monitor it also with this okay where we really look into those candles and uh, i would do this on a different sort of time frame but um <clears throat> you know yeah you want to be looking at this sort of volume so you're seeing here like six million four million you know you're starting to see some big sales come in so i want to get back to sculpt this i'm going to wrap up the video up pretty shortly uh those are the key levels that i wanted to give you um if you if you do come above this well yeah you got that daily up about uh, around eleven thousand three hundred. i think if you break through twelve thousand, then yeah you got that twelve thousand two hundred twelve three hundred next uh but this is a level to be interested in shorts to be honest if you're if you're longing up here like you're you're just you're just so dumb because yes this could go up higher what were you doing at these lows what were you doing at these lows let me guess majority are shorting down here majority are longing up here what am i doing i'm longing down here and i'm looking for shorts up here that ladies and gentlemen is how you trade like a market maker not like an absolute wreck noob that's gonna happen when this drop occurs um why why am i being such a like kind of an idiot in this video it pains me but primarily because of this the people that doubted me the people that attacked me personally and you know say these sort of messages you know this is a big in your face like literally it feels really really good the haters honestly have spurred me on here to come back today and present everybody that stuck with me one of the best trades you're ever going to see period like yeah for the people that are sending those type of messages what are you saying now like literally what are you saying now honestly um because i have killed it now i have killed it and everybody that stuck with me well look at this we are back sculpt trading today <clears throat> what a present it's been uh what a present to the people that stuck with me on this um because i presented them and gave them free money as we brought in the bacon with that with that trade setup um so yeah once again everybody i am going to share this one publicly once it plays out there's still two more steps left of this trade setup uh hence why i, I don't want to share it um but nevertheless for the people that are not in the champions group i've given you a little bit of an insight into the trades the levels that we had within those trades and how one could expect this to go from here i think that you don't need to be the hero that times the high like honestly you really don't you can wait for that initial sign of rejection that initial sign of weakness and then jump into your shorts you know there's just no need at the moment you know for instance i've still got 20 percent of that long open okay i <laughs> to be honest i did sculpt a short already uh offered a weekly this morning but nevertheless like these are quick trades and uh, really for a swing traders perspective you want to wait for that initial um you know the, either the lower tail like you had down here okay or you want to wait for your for your selling tail which um you've slightly got but um let's just double check that ah oh, this thing man this is really annoying when this happens um <laughs> uh anyway i was going to try and show you the tpo charts but this this thing is annoying um so yeah there you go i guess i will just wrap it up here i've given you the really key levels that i'm trading off of uh you can see my mojo's back i'm feeling it i'm feeling good um to be honest when i'm when i'm on the charts i just i can block out everything else and i'm just going to be focused and content and 
yeah let's go back to stop trading this hope you've enjoyed this video um no i, I am 100 percent sure it's going to get many dislikes because the haters that have followed me recently have come up back up once again to a whole new level um who's laughing now we absolutely killed that trade cheers everybody thank you and have a brilliant day bye <laughs>